Hey folks, if you enjoyed you here, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell for notifications. Also consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks and check out our arts and media podcast, Words Like That, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, now shut up and get to it. Can't have no words like that. This is The Fever, the original studio cut from 1973. I've heard the live version of this on, I think it was Houston, live in Houston, 78. Without further ado, here we go. Start out with the drums, okay. That jazz shuffle on the jazz piano, yeah, man. I couldn't tell what instrument that was. It was an organ. why this wasn't included whatever album they cut this for I'm, I'm not sure why this wasn't included this is fantastic and I like his vocal take better on this than I did the live version something that you like to see because you were my sun in the morning you were my moon at night when I think about it makes me feel alright when I I remember enjoying the live cut. I don't remember liking it as much as I'm liking the studio cut here. Like, this is immediately, you know, top 10 Bruce for me, which, you know, I've joked about this before. I've got like, you know, 30 top 10s at this point. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. I honestly wish I had heard this first and then listened to the live version because I feel like 
I would have appreciated the live version better knowing the studio cut, which nobody did, I guess, for years. That was impossible to know the studio cut before the live. Nothing a boy can do when he's got the people for he's got I always the love it when Clarence has a line or anything, really. Was it cut for length, I wonder, because I know he already had some lengthy songs. Was it just not considered commercial enough? But, you know, a lot of the songs on those early records were even less commercial than this one, so I don't know. So that is one of my favorite Bruce songs that I've heard in a long, long time. Maybe since we got out of the 70s, although I know there were there were some in the 2000s that I really, really dug. And I liked a lot of stuff from Tom Joe, but that was excellent. Again, I'd already heard this on the Live in Houston, and I remember liking it, but... Not like, oh man, this is, this is this is one of the greatest Bruce Springsteen's ever. This is I gotta I gotta put this on my playlist immediately. This, however, I'm immediately like, man, this is great. And the crisp production sound. You know, I watched a guy the other day reacting to he was a mil, or not not a millennial now. He was a Zoomer Gen Z, and he's a music producer. I don't know what kind of music he produces. He was checking out the Beatles for the first time, and he listened to Hey Jude. Oh, let's see what, what were the other two: A Day in the Life and Strawberry Fields. All three phenomenal songs, like top tier Beatles songs for different reasons. He's listening to these songs, and he's talking about how much better new music recorded digitally sounds. And he mentioned, he made the caveat that, which some people would debate that, would disagree with that. I don't see how you can listen to the crispness of a song like that and compare it to anything that's produced digitally today. Other than maybe saying, well, there's some tape hiss in, in here, there's some white noise, and we don't have that. In the words of George Harrison, I like a bit of tape hiss personally. You know, it's like, I, I don't understand anybody listening to music from that era that's recorded like these tracks are recorded and comparing it to now and thinking that now sounds better. I mean, you don't have any of the clarity, the crispness, the separation is all just kind of muddy and you've lost dynamic range through over mastering and it just doesn't sound as good as analog and if I could afford the time and money to record everything analog, I would. Great, great song, great recording, great vocal take from Bruce again to me his voice sounded better on the studio cut than it did live absolutely loved it hope you enjoyed that clip if you did consider supporting us on Patreon for the full episode subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already and we'll see you soon <laughs>